Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. This one's going to show you how to remove this white fringe or this white edge. And you get this a lot when you remove subjects from images that have a white background. Or very, very commonly, if you're pulling out a, a image or, a, or a, a logo that's against a white background and you get this white edge around the uh, uh, deletion or the, the extraction, pardon me, that's probably the better way to put it. How do you get rid of it? I'm going to show you. Here's what it looks like when I've done it. And again... So you'll see that I've got going on here. So here we go. Let's go right into this. Let's start from scratch. I've loaded in an image. I'm going to left click on this little lock and unlock it. The next step is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click create new layer. And then I'm going to fill it. I'm going to go to edit fill. And I'm going to go with a nice gray color because I want to show what happens here. So I'm going to go 50% gray. And then I'm going to click on OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this underneath the lion. So you won't see it yet because we haven't got rid of the white stuff, but this is just for future. All right, now let's get right into how we do it. The next step here is we're going to go to select and actually we can go to click on this little button here so you'll see it better. Select and then we're going to go to uh, select subject. So I'm going to go click select subject right here. Then we're going to go select and mask. Okay, good stuff. Now, you'll see here that there is some white fringy stuff coming through on the lion. Now, normally, you can go ahead and select this brush here, which is the Refine Edge Brush Tool, and it does a pretty good job, I'm just going to go around the edges like this, of getting rid of some of that white and kind of taking out that whitey buzzy stuff, but it's not going to do a perfect job, even if you go around the edges like this. Okay, so I'm just going to do it. It's going to do a good job, but it's not perfect. There we go. Now, the next step here is for me, I'm just going to add a 0.5 per pixel feather, just because. And then I'm also going to click on refine hair for this one, only because this, one, this animal has hair. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to do its best job. Now, I'm going to click on OK, and you're going to see here that I've got this selection made. It's not perfect, but it's a selection. Now what you want to do, oh geez, it missed a piece here, it missed his tail, holy smokes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select the quick selection tool and I am going to go ahead and pull out that tail. All right, good. So we've got a selection. Now I'm going to hit mask. And this is the part where you see the white fringe. Everybody, once you've done your masking, you've got the white around on the back, on the sides here. Now we got to do some stuff. So the next step is we're going to go ahead, I'm going to click on both of these layers. Watch this. Oh, nope, cancel it. Uh, what we're looking to do, and I'll just show you where it is, is we're going to go to layer matting <clears throat> and we want to remove the white mat. <clears throat> Excuse me, but when we do it this way, if we did it with this mask applied, it will just apply to the image and not the mask. So we want to right click on this and we're going to look for, we want to apply the layer mask. So let's go ahead and, sorry, click on the mask here. Apply the layer mask. Okay, now we can start doing some work. Now what we want to do is we want to go to layer go to matting and then go to remove white mat. When we do that in that order, now the white edges are gone. That's how you do it inside Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.